Much of the nation has been riveted by Gwyneth Paltrow's civil trial over a ski crash. Now, a verdict has been reached. The Oscar winner was in court yesterday when a Utah jury announced their unanimous decision that Paltrow was not liable in a 2016 collision with another skier. During the eight-day trial, Paltrow maintained that she was the one who was hit. And you can see the relief on her face when the jury agreed with her. What percent of the fault do you assign to Terry Sanderson? 100 percent. Gwyneth Paltrow smiled at her attorneys after the verdict was read. Terry Sanderson claimed to have suffered life-changing injuries when he claimed Paltrow collided with him on a beginner slope of a Park City resort. What amount fairly compensates Gwyneth Paltrow for economic damages? One dollar. Paltrow's one dollar award made it clear the case for her was not about the money. In a statement after the verdict, the Oscar winner wrote, I felt that acquiescing to a false claim compromised my integrity. I am pleased with the outcome. As Paltrow left the courtroom, she touched Sanderson's shoulder and had a few words for her accuser. Her exact words, I wish you well. Very kind of her. Serious, serious smack. Never been hit that hard and I'm flying. For just over a week, Sanderson and his attorneys attempted to paint Paltrow as a careless skier who caused major injuries and left him to suffer. And nothing but the truth, so help you God. But Paltrow said it was the other way around, repeating exactly what she said to the retired optometrist after the collision seven years ago. You skied directly into my effing back, and he said, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Right. The arguably low-stakes trial captivated pop culture with its quirky moments. You were wearing goggles, a helmet. Yes. Okay, kind of looked like everybody else on the slope. That's always my intention. Okay. Probably had a better ski outfit, though, I bet. <laughs> I still have the same one. <laughs> I just have one. Paltrow did not address the media after court was adjourned, but her defense team spoke on her behalf. Gwyneth has a history of advocating for what she believes in. This situation was no different, and she will continue to stand for what she believes is right. Well, mm. so ends. I thought you watched 2023. <laughs> well, well, the next thing to watch is Saturday Night Live. They're going to have a field day. <laughs> yes. This is a great week for Saturday Night Live to actually be live. Yeah. And Quint is a host. But I thought it was very uh, classy for her yes. to say yeah. to him on the way out, considering all the things that he had said about her in the courtroom, to say, I wish you well. 100%. It 100%. didn't take the jury long either. Before. No, because, I mean, you know, I, I don't, I know we were sort of laughing at her, uh, um, Mr. Sanderson's lawyer sort of seem, seemingly enamored yeah. with Gwyneth, uh, but she must have known that she was in the right because she agreed to come on to, to, into the courtroom every single day to yeah. defend herself. But with a jury, you never know. You're right about you that. You never, never know.